Gerald Comstock is from Lincoln Park, but he's been in prison for over 30 years, and now his death is under investigation. That the MDOC turns a blind eye. They are experts at turning a blind eye. They turn a blind eye to all kinds of things. And the family of 55-year-old Gerald Comstock wants investigators to get to the bottom of his death. Comstock was at Michigan Reformatory, a state prison in Ionia, serving a life sentence for rape. And Saturday, Comstock was found unresponsive. He later died, and prison officials say it appears to have been a drug overdose. So they will uh, have family members or friends um, try to throw it over the fence, or they will uh, put it through the mail. We see that a lot right now. Uh, and sometimes uh, it's brought in uh, through through the gates. But because of COVID, no visitors have even been allowed in since March 13th. And Comstock's brother tells Action News he wants to know if guards were involved in smuggling drugs into the prison. Hope that that's not the, the cause uh, of this. Uh, but we do see a lot of it still coming in through the mail. We do we do a lot of work to try to prevent that. If the best the MDOC can do is say that it's coming in through the mail. They don't even allow envelopes with blue ink to come in. Solomon Radner is representing the family of Seth Zucora. He died in a Michigan prison in 2017 from an overdose of fentanyl. And in a lawsuit, they allege that corrections officers were involved in a drug smuggling operation. I can't say that it, it never happens, uh, but our staff are very professional uh, and it's very rare for that to be uh, the cause. When they go to prison, they're not supposed to be peddled drugs. They're not supposed to end up dead. Corrections officers themselves have filed lawsuits claiming they were retaliated against when they spoke out about other employees being involved in drug smuggling. If they cared, they could get to the bottom of this. They can open a real investigation into this. You know what they can really do if the MDOC cared? They can stop retaliating against guards who come forth with information. Maybe they should have a safe whistleblower protection hotline. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.